players, what you witnessed before you is what remains of those who broke the rules for their own benefit. They tainted the pure and fair ideology everything here has been built upon. Ah, here's another speech about their pure and fair ideology. You know, for an organization that's all about fairness and equality, you sure pull a lot of intentionally misleading and sketchy shit, like forcing people to sign contracts and tricking them into relinquishing their physical rights, and then hiring a ringer to play dachi with them to reel them into your island without realizing that they're gambling with their lives, where half of them are killed during red light, green light, when you explain that players who move are eliminated. What? Why are you surprised we're shooting? We clearly said eliminated. And then later, you guys allow other players to gang up and kill other players in between the actual games, and even go so far as to intentionally engineer mass homicide at lights out. You know, I can't think of a more equal and fair way to run your games than encouraging players to shank each other while they sleep in the dark. What an incredible and fair game of skill and cunning. And soon you're about to pull some more bait and switch reverse uno bullshit by tricking players to buddy up in teams of two partners that you wish to play with, implying that they're on the same team, instead of choosing an opponent that you wish to play against. You ain't got no alibi, you're busted. No one else has mentioned this before, but why does a front man need to rely on this landline to manage his operations instead of using a secure walkie-talkie or cell phone? This secret island obviously has cell service somehow. He doesn't even have any answering machine in there. People are calling him with important shit all the time and have to hope that he's just chilling in his crib. Oh wait, maybe it's all part of his clever plan to catch any intruders who hang up the receiver the wrong way which would lead him to search most of the premises instead of simply installing locks and cameras all around the secret chambers and file room. Hello? Hey Jun Ho. It's 2021, man. I really prefer if you just text me instead of calling. So rude. What's wrong? Are you sad? Why? Is your connection dead? You're burnt and you're busted! Oh, it is a little slut, isn't it? Because she's being a little slut about it. Bobby! For this game, you will be playing in teams of two. When two people agree to play together, shake hands to show you have become partners. Let's do this, hmm? Uh, no thanks. I'm really looking for someone who's good at everything except the things she can't do. Yeah, she has these, like, crazy eyes. I know how to con just about anybody I see. I'm not a genius, but I still got it where it counts. Hmm? Well, you sure can talk the talk, you crazy little slut. Hey, let me play with you. Then I'll be your dream girl all night long. Hmm? Hmm? Don't make me do crazy eyes. Uh, hold on a second. Why? You want a girl? Yes, I do. Song with Let's Nolly. Let's join forces. It's a little bit awkward. This is a little awkward. Sir. You should go put this on. Just in case people hear. Well, they might look down on you for missing it. Ah, uh, yes. Good thinking, Ilnam. During the murder games, most people are highly conscious of maintaining the proper dress attire at all times, otherwise they get kind of judgy. Don't worry, I'm just going to sit over here by myself. I just hope I don't become a meme. Hey, want to do this? Hmm, I wonder how she's going to answer. Wait, what are you doing? You got to untie me! Yeah, why is that? I happened to overhear your discussion last night. So tell me, what did you see? Why would I? It looked like you and that thug really had it out for each other. So what? Tonight, if anything happens, we'll all meet in my bed right there. Are you in? I don't trust people. What's your name, huh? Why do you care about that? So I can use your name, duh. It doesn't matter. Listen, okay? Just leave me alone. Wanna do this? Why should I? I'll make sure that you win. What will you do? Whatever it takes. <sighs> That's called foreshadowing. You guys, you're all making a big mistake. Do you really think you can win without me on your team? 
Why, why can't this crazy b get it through her head? What's going on here? You can't do this! She'll be back. I'm so sick of that whore. <laughs> it's nice to think she won't be in my way again. She'll be back. In this game, using your set of ten marbles, you will play the game of your choice with your partner. A player who manages to take all ten marbles from their partner wins. I can't believe they're letting each group choose their own games instead of a standardized set of games and rules. Otherwise, it leaves a lot of wiggle room for somebody to cheat and claim that they won during this life and death game. Bullseye. I've never played marbles before, but this bullseye game over here looks like it leaves a lot open to interpretation. And you also open it up to all these scenarios where one player who's getting his ass handed to him can suddenly change it all up to an all or nothing game. And to make things worse, these games are supervised by a bunch of dipshit guards with decision making left to their individual discretion. By the way, they seem to be barely paying attention, like that time where Gi-hun almost got whacked when he still had one marble left. Sometimes they just stand there silent, and at other times they make a life or death ruling on the spot that favors one player over another with no apparent consistency. Very fair and equal if you ask me. Ah, uh, the old fake dementia bit, huh? I can't wait till I get older so I can pull this too. Oh, what? This is the last piece of pizza? What do you mean I just ate six slices? I can't remember I'm old. What, honey? Today's our anniversary? Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? What game are we gonna play? You tell me. These boomers know all these games. We just want to kill some out-of-touch baby boomers. I don't know if this is a bad translation, but there's maybe four baby boomers among the original 456 players, and one of them is the old man. When this show came out in 2021, boomers were between 57 and 75 years old. The writer and director himself was a 50-year-old Gen Xer. Gonna die, you you kill me? How you gonna do it? Hmm? You can't resort to violence. Actually, they never once said that you can't resort to violence. They just said the player who manages to take all 10 marbles from their partner wins. Since your fair and equal rules allows players to kill each other at any other time, why wouldn't we assume that you can win by shanking your opponent with a sharpened toothbrush? And by the way, I see some violence going on here unpunished. What are we going to do before then? Talk. Things we never told anybody about, I guess. One of us is going to die here, so no one can really embarrass themselves anymore. I think we're alone now. Yeah, but when they're telling each other secrets in private, isn't there a guard standing just off camera listening to their whole conversation? It's hard to say. It seems like some of these teams are barely supervised. You gotta be cheating. Sungwoo, why would I do that to you? Yeah, why would he? No one has any motivation to cheat or cry foul. The odds should be 50-50. That means you're cheating. If Sangwoo graduated at the top of his business class at SNU, he'd surely know that the odds aren't 50-50, especially for a guessing game that's not based on chance. Then what happens? What happens is that person gets to take everything on the ground. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. You scared? I'm pretty good at getting things in the holes, huh? Hmm. I can really see why this show was nominated for a primetime Emmy for outstanding writing for a drama series. Do Hawaii. Hold on. Go to the Maldives for a while instead. And have a mojito too. Go to mojito and have a glass of Maldives. Really? Does she think people in North Korea have cable TV and HBO Max? They're lucky to get a potato once a month. Well, once we're out of here, we'll have a girls' night out and make mojitos and everything, okay? <laughs> oh, we can't both get out of here. Oh really? You somehow forgot that one of you is going to get shot in the head in about 15 minutes? It slipped my mind completely. I can't die this way, I beg you. You only got this far because I was there. Like when I gave the bus fare to you and- Ah, yes, the bus fare. I forgot. Thanks for reminding me, Songwoo. I guess if I let you win, we'll call it Even Stevens. Odd. <laughs> Look at that. I won again. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just lucky. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> My, how the tables have turned. I think there are going to be teams out there who can't decide a winner either. Oh no, Ali. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Sangwoo is trying to use his big SNU business brain to trick you with some BS game theory. The Jedi mind trick. 
You ever have to see anyone die before this? Once we had this plague go through my town when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered if there was a plague in North Korea that killed off a bunch of people this century. Too bad this show didn't come out a few years later, post-pandemic. Damn. Your stories are a bit too dark even for me. One day I came back from school, and my mom was lying there dead on the floor. And next to her was my so-called dad with a knife. The next body that I saw, that was my dad's. And the person standing there holding the knife, that was me. Excuse me, but did you say my stories are too dark? Your pouch there. Here, I'll make sure that it's safe, okay? Ah uh, yes, your homemade t-shirt pouch is much more safe and secure than me putting them that, into my pocket. It's like that, doesn't it? How odd. Earlier his bag sounded like it was full of glass marbles and now they sound like rocks. Must be some kind of SNU mind trick. SNU grad. When death is on the line! <laughs> We've got three each. Yeah, but, um, what was your guess? Huh? Jedi mind trick. Jedi huh? mind trick. Never thought about what I'd do if I got the money. Go with you to Jeju Island? Sorry. Forgot again. Does this girl have early onset Alzheimer's or something? Look at that. One more right here. <laughs> nice knowing you. It's a miracle! Really? What are the odds? Damn it! You're a asshole! They really gotta work on their safety training. This dude just sprayed a hail of bullets in full auto mode with a couple of his buddies right behind him. honored that we were partners. <laughs> Player 240 eliminated. Take it. It's yours anyway. Gambu always share everything with each other no matter what. Well, I guess he's dead even though the shot was off camera and it was heavily implied through their editing so we'll have to assume that he was just killed off just like Glenn in The Walking Dead because there's no way they would pull some bullshit like that on us, right? Right?